As time goes on, I find my video game preferences changing more and more. My feed on YouTube is often full of videos along the lines of, why isn't gaming fun anymore? And while I do think that as you get older it can be harder to enjoy video games while dealing with the stresses of real life, I think that it's really important to be willing to expand your horizons and adapt your gaming to your lifestyle. I definitely consider myself more of an RPG guy, and a lot of RPGs are massive open world adventures with tons of secrets to discover. While I do love a game like this when executed properly, unfortunately now more than ever before, there seems to be a push for all games to just overwhelm you with an abundance of content, even if that content isn't actually good. When developers have to focus so hard on just making sure a game can keep you occupied for more than 100 hours on a single playthrough, it feels like there is a bigger focus on keeping you there for long periods of time rather than making you actually enjoy the journey. These days, my gaming sessions tend to be in hour-long intervals rather than spending a full day getting lost. And with those hour-long intervals, it's much harder for me to really immerse myself and get deep into exploration without feeling like I'm wasting time. Especially in an empty open world that feels like it was manufactured just to increase your time spent there. To me it feels like every game tries so hard to be open world these days and while it's great for developers to strive for more innovation, few games actually get this open world right. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Elden Ring, those are examples of games that really do the open world justice. But even with both of them getting it right, I prefer more linear games from both of those developers, like Ocarina of Time and Bloodborne. Decision paralysis is real. Sometimes having too many choices or too many possibilities can actually hinder your gaming experience, especially when you're playing in shorter intervals. Now everyone looks for something different in a game. For some it's gameplay, others the visuals, for me, it's the story. The way certain moments during a game can make you feel is unlike any movie you'll ever watch. When I think back to moments like really understanding the gravity of Yuna's fate in Final Fantasy X, and knowing you're the only one that can save her is way more immersive than having to collect and bring back 10 different berries from some random empty forest, which unfortunately is the type of fetch quest that you'll see in Final Fantasy XVI. Even though Final Fantasy X was very linear, I still found it to be a much more immersive and honestly just a good RPG. And when I say linear, I don't mean games like Super Mario Bros where there is an actual level or stage system in place. I'm talking about games where the developers clearly wanted you to follow the story in a certain way. The best example of this that I can give is one of the classic Pokemon games, where you have a large world that slowly opens up over time as you start to gain new skills like the ability to tread water or fly. The second gen Pokemon games are my favorite and one of the reasons for that is there's another huge open world right beside you the entire time and you don't even know about it until after beating the initial story in the game. This is exactly what I mean by the developers having a plan for when the player was supposed to figure all this out. If they allowed you to go back and forth between Johto and Kanto right from the get go, the game would have felt entirely different. The magic of thinking the game is over only to discover you're only halfway done would have been entirely lost. I personally look at video games as an art form, similar to music. Sometimes artists release singles, but other times they put out an album with the intent of having the listener listen to the whole album as one cohesive piece. When they do this, the order of the songs is actually really important, and when you listen to the songs in a different order than the way they were intended to, it throws off the whole flow, and all of a sudden loses that cohesiveness. Could you imagine watching a TV series, starting at episode 1, then watching episode 8, then going back to episode 2? It just wouldn't make any sense. A lot of the times, this is how I feel about open world games, and that's why I prefer developers giving you at least a little bit of guidance. Now with everything I just said, I am by no means saying open world games suck. I've been playing Skyrim recently and that game still slaps. Like I said earlier, games like Tears of the Kingdom and Elden Ring are absolutely killing it. I just think in general, developers need to focus less on the quantity of content and more on the quality. I'd rather have a 10 to 20 hour experience that I actually enjoy and feel rewarded from than a 100 hour experience that feels like it just wasted my time especially when I don't have the luxury of gaming 24-7. Anyways, that's all for the video today. Hopefully in the future developers can put more of an emphasis on actually satisfying the players, but it seems we're heading in the opposite direction with all the microtransactions and whatnot. Leave a comment down below letting me know if I'm crazy for kind of liking more linear games these days, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content.
as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.